Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm trying one of these uh, Nestle Hot Pockets. This is made by Nestle. Uh, these are the new ones. These are the drive through menu, and it is sliced beef and cheddar. Not sure how that's a drive through menu, but whatever. It's sliced beef and cheddar. It's cheese with a savory sauce and a sesame seed bun crust. I guess it's the crust that makes a big difference. Yeah, looks pretty good. Um, we bought these at Kroger. They were on sale for $2 a piece. So I don't think that's bad. You get basically a, a dollar a sandwich. There's two sandwiches in the box. Um, eight and a half ounces or 241 grams for the, for, I think that's the whole box though. So we can see that to be sure. Yeah. So each sandwich is uh, 120 grams and it's 280 calories per sandwich. And here's your other information. So we're going to, can you do this in other ways? I thought you could do it in the oven too, but yeah, there's conventional oven directions if you want. Uh, of course, we're not going to do that, but if you want to, you can do it in the oven. We're going to do it in the microwave. So we're going to unwrap the sandwich, insert into the crisping sleeve. It shows a picture how to put it in the sleeve. Um, place on a paper plate because it probably will leak out of the end, so you don't want to make a mess in your microwave. If you're heating one sandwich up, and we, I've got a pretty good microwave, so I'm going to do it two, minute, two and a half minutes. If you want to do both sandwiches, you can do three minutes and 45 um, seconds. And then it's saying uh, if you got a lower power microwave, only do one sandwich at a time. And then let it sit for two minutes to complete cooking and enjoy. So two minutes to cook, and two and a half minutes to cook, and two minutes to sit. It's not too bad. There you go. That's what it looks like. So you put it, you can see that it says uh, the other side of the Christmas Eve will say um, this side up or whatever. So you're going to put this uh, Hot Pocket into the sleeve, put it in the microwave, and uh, for two minutes, I think it has the directions even on there. Yeah, two and a half minutes. Yeah, anyway. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. And I cut an end off just to show you what's inside there. They're always kind of hollow inside, but there's a layer of meat in there and some cheese. There's the end. So I'm going to actually, I did let it sit for two minutes, by the way, before I cut into it. But I usually cut these into small bite-sized pieces just for the video, which is easier to do. Um, you know, if you're eating it on your own, you may want to just eat it just like it is, kind of like eating a burrito. But um, I always didn't like eating it like that because it's so hot. You end up burning yourself because all the steam comes out of there. But whatever. Everybody eats them differently. So um, I'm going to cut this up and I'll be right back. Okay, I've cut it into bite-sized pieces for me. Like I said, it's just easier to handle on video um, to make it instead of trying to eat the whole sandwich. Um, and it lets it cool off a little bit. So this is the bite I'm going to take. Plenty of meat, plenty of cheese in there. Here we go. I like the flavor of the meat and cheese. It's really good. Um, the bread's very soft. It's not um, hard. Usually, I have a problem with hot pockets usually on the ends, which is what I'm going to try next, one of the end pieces. Um, they're usually really dry and hard on the end and almost impossible to eat sometimes. Um, I did do this on the lower end, so maybe that'll make it better, but the longer you microwave, the, the worse the ends are. So this bread might be different. Maybe it's uh, a little bit better as far as texture goes. Let me try. It's definitely better. It's not as hard. It's still a little dry, but, it, but it's not as hard as they, they tend to get. Let me try one more piece. I like the flavors. I'm trying to think of a good description of how to describe the flavors. The the beef in there the tastes like um like a beef steak, like the sliced steak you would get at like a um I don't know Phyllis cheesesteak kind of sandwich. That's kind of the, the meat, uh, the kind of the texture it has. It's very tender. Um you really taste the cheese. It's just a regular, like a cheddar cheese. There's a sauce in there is what I'm trying to pick out. It's almost like a barbecue sauce, but it's not quite as sweet and smoky as a barbecue sauce. It's similar to a barbecue sauce though. Let me see if it describes it at all. I don't think it did really. Um, inspired by recipes found uh, on your on your favorite drive through menus. Um, Crave-worthy creations made with 100% real cheese. It really doesn't describe the flavor of this particular one. It just says savory sauce. So, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a barbecue sauce, but it's not quite as sweet and smoky as a barbecue sauce. It's good. I do like it, and I really do like the texture of the bread. 
I don't really taste the sesame seeds at all. I mean, they really don't get like a seedy bun kind of texture or flavor, but, um, but I do like the flavor of the meat and the cheese and the sauce. So, overall, it's a good sandwich. Yeah, really good. The edges of the meat or the bread it does get a little drier out, dried out compared to the middle part, but it's still pretty good. So, um, if you're eating hot pockets already, you'd like hot pockets, and you'd like the, the kind of the shaved beef with the um, with the cheese. I think you'd like this. The sauce is, like I said, not super sweet or smoky. It's more of just a savory sauce, kind of like a barbecue sauce. Um, if you're looking for that flavor, I think you would enjoy it. At least try it out. Um, for me, it's still a hot pocket. You know, it's it's still it's nothing spectacular or great or awesome. Uh, the flavors could be boosted just a little bit more to give you a little bit more. I wish the sauce had been just a little, either a little spicier or a little smokier like a barbecue. I wish the flavors had been pumped up just a little bit more. Um, for me, it's just an average hot pocket. So it's, it, I'm still going to give it a three. Three out of five, I still think it's fair because it is a good meal. It's just, um, for me, it could have been better. It could have been so much more if they put some more seasoning into it and, and add a little more flavor to it. I like the flavor, but it could have been better. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.